the maternity cages ready for the rabbits that I bred a couple videos back. Um, and I've got a nest box here. I have really nice big nest boxes that I got as hand-me-downs. Um, a family friend of ours used to raise rabbits when he was in high school. When my son started doing this when he was eight years old, because my son, my son initially started the rabbitry, and he did it from the time he was like eight years old to 15 years old. And then I took over um, and he, this friend of ours gave us um, like some feeders and some creep feeders and some nest boxes. And these are huge and I love them. I have not been able to find nest boxes this size anywhere. So the bottoms are starting to get really rusty and worn out and they're kind of starting to crack in some places. So I am hopefully going to get my son to make me some more in the next year. Um, we have a metal break and he can bend it up and um, rivet it together and make them for me. So I'm really hoping he's willing to do that. Um, so what I did is I put about two inches of shavings in the bottom, which is a little bit more than I do like in summer. Um, so I put about two inches in there because some of those rabbits will dig down quite a ways into this straw and they'll even dig out the shavings a little and you just don't want them touching the metal on the bottom. So I just try to give them a little more of a cushion so that in winter when it's cold out, those kits don't get all the way down to the bottom. These are both, um, young mothers so I don't know how well they're going to do so I just want to make sure I have enough enough nesting material for them to work with in case they don't um, pull out enough fur to make their own nest so um, I use shavings that are like this in the bottom of my nest box if you can see that's like a bigger um, shaving and I save shavings that are like this, that are more fluffy and dusty, like see how dusty that is. I try to save those for just using like underneath the cages. Um, and that way, if you use something like this, if they do get scratched up, like those kits aren't breathing in all that dust. Most of the time it's not a problem. I mean, if that's all you have, then use it. I just kind of pat it down nicely and you can even spritz just a little bit of water in there just so that they aren't super, super dry and then put your straw on top of it. Um, and then you pack the straw in pretty tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the cage. I've got her water, I've got her feed. I have um, the resting pads all in here and ready to go. And I'm gonna move her right into the cage then. Sometimes when you put them in, they will start nesting like immediately. Let's watch her and see what she does. So it's Thursday night now and I would be expecting her to kindle like Sunday or Monday. So I just put a temporary fix on the hay feeder. We had cut this bar out here because Stella kept getting her, she could get her head in and then she couldn't get it back out. Right, Stella? But then Buck was crawling in because the hole was too big. So I wired a board on, I just cut a little notch out. I think she'll be able to get her head out and I think he will not be able to get in. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, don't push me out of the way. I don't have a lot going on today. Um, I'm just doing my regular morning chores here. Um, when I was outside fixing that hay feeder yesterday in the snow before church, one of my neighbors drove past. Um, they live like a mile down the road and I, I heard my phone, I got a couple text messages and I thought, well, you know, I had my hands full so I didn't read them. And, um, here it was her. She said, there's a, 
there's a big dog in with your goats. We were a little concerned, so we turned around. But then we saw somebody outside, so we figured they weren't being eaten, and she was right. Um, they just didn't know about Mira yet, so and she is starting to get really big. I weighed her it, close to a month ago now, I think. Four, I think it would be four weeks today. She was 80 pounds, so she's got to be 90 by now because she's been averaging about 15 a month. So um, she's getting to be a big girl. Um, in upcoming videos, I'll kind of show you what I've been doing with her on training. But for now, these guys are hungry. Are you hungry? Right, Buck? I've gotten used to his smell. He's not too bad. Hi. You want to be fed? Yes. They want to be fed. it for this morning for chores um, pretty quick morning this morning I've got some stuff to do in the house so um, as you can see around me it snowed and it's gorgeous anyway I'm done for the morning I'm gonna head in I'm waiting for those two rabbits to kindle it's day 32 so I would expect them to kindle today because that's typically when they do but They'll probably wait till I go to work and then, because they're first time moms, they'll have them on the wires. Because that's the way it goes. I just walked in here to thaw some water bottles and I've got one kindling. I'm just going to be real quiet. see that I'm here so I'm just gonna leave her alone I'm gonna swap out a few water bottles quick and then get out do the rest of my chores and I'll come back and check on her all right well the goats are eating here quick I just want to explain um, why I want to leave that rabbit alone so my goats love me um, you know they want me around they get excited when you know I I come down here 
to the rabbits, I'm just a person who feeds them. So although they look really excited to see me, they're not. They just want to be fed or watered. Um, so I don't need to put any stress on her by having me around. Okay, so she has had them. I'm going to show you real quick and then get out. This is Mama. So it's hard to see back there in that little fur ball is all of her kits. She has a little extra fur here. So I'm just going to throw that on and leave her alone for now. Okay, so she's an idiot. Um, I came in here a little while ago to check on her and she was laying, sleeping in the box and clearly the box is big enough, not big enough for her fat butt and to lay in front here. So of course she was laying on one and smothered it. It was still warm, but it was too late. It was dead. Um, so I came out now 20 minutes later and she was doing the same thing. There was one underneath her. Lucky it was okay. It was a little purple. So I think it was starting to be smothered, but it's alive. So I'm going to put another nest box in here and um, hopefully she'll lay in that one instead. I'll put a smaller one in there and maybe she'll use it for herself. Um, if I'm not entirely convinced she's done because she only had three and she looks quite large yet and maybe she'll have more but if one of the one more of these die like they aren't going to be able to stay warm enough like one can't stay warm itself so I wish that other one honestly I never even palpated her I don't even know 100% if she's pregnant her appetite increased and she um, she's very fat, but, uh, because she was on the young side, it wasn't like crucial for me to get her pregnant. So I guess I never even checked her. I should probably do that now and see if she's even going to kindle. She is making a little tunnel in her nest box, which would make me think that she is pregnant, but I should check her now and see if I actually think she's going to kindle because if she does and she has room, I'm going to give these, if these two are still alive tonight when I get home and she's had her litter, she's getting them because she's going to kill them. So I, I don't want to bring them inside because what am I going to do? I can't feed them. Bottle feeding, it's, it's not a thing. It doesn't work. And I'm, I'm just not, I'm not dealing with it. We tried it years ago never had success so what I'm hoping is that one will kindle soon and I can give these two to her she may or may not get one more chance otherwise I'm gonna color um, if I rebreed her I would rebreed her at the same time as an older doe I have that is down to usually having about five because then she would have uh, room to take on some of those kits so we will see. So this is turning into a pretty normal day. Um, I'm dealing with that dough that's an idiot. I'm trying to thaw out water bottles. I've got supper on the stove and I need to leave for work in a half hour. And I saw my buck down here. What I think he may have been straining. Um, this morning I was standing next to him and I saw him arch his back and I thought he was stretching and I watched him for a little bit. And thought, oh, maybe he's straining. I'm not sure. My vet office doesn't carry uh, ammonium chloride anymore, apparently, or never did. I don't know. I had a friend who needed it, and they didn't have it. So I text a friend to see if she has any. She doesn't. So hopefully he doesn't have urinary calculi. I'm just going to stand here and watch for like five minutes. Um, he looks all right. Oh, so let me show you. Like he looks all right. He's not, doesn't look like he's in a lot of pain, but if it would be urinary calculi, um, I want to catch it as soon as possible. However, none of the farm stores here 
none of our farm stores here sell what I need anymore. Um, so you kind of got to find somebody who's ha who has it. And I actually don't keep it on hand because I've never kept a buck. Um, I've had weathers and, um, but I just, I don't keep it on hand. Now I have a buck and I don't have any and I should. So um, we will see. I'm going to watch him. He does look a little bit like he's, it was just kind of like itching at his belly a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to stand here and watch him. Right now he looks like he's in good spirits and he's not in a lot of pain. But like I said, I saw him kind of straining a little bit. So I'm just going to see. All right, he seems okay. Um, if it is something starting, hopefully I will have some time enough time to catch it I'm gonna try to source some out make make a few phone calls texts just in case I do need it um, let's go in the rabbit tree here so she is sitting in that laying in that nest box that I gave her um, so I just need to swap out water bottles but she is laying in it So there's her babies in there. So hopefully she still takes care of them and doesn't lay on them. So this rabbit in the first cage here was never pregnant. Um, the reason I didn't check her is because it wasn't that important for me to get her pregnant. I bred her because I wanted to get that other one pregnant and I like to have two Kindle at the same time. That way if one of them has too many, I can foster some onto the other mother. Um, or if for some reason something would happen to the doe, I have other options, you know, that I can give those kits kind of back and forth. So I always have two Kindle at the same time. I didn't have any other does to breed. That This first doe is physically old enough to have kits. I typically wait longer just because they're better mothers when they're a little bit older. So although I bred her, it wasn't my typical age to breed not because it was too early for her physically just because I like them to be a little older if you if you think of it as like if you had a 13 year old babysit your kids like they keep them alive they don't get a lot of TLC but you know like they're fed they might not know what to do long term or in an emergency but you know, they do all right. But if you have an 18 year old babysit your kids, they do a way better job. It's kind of the same thing. The The younger does, they'll keep them alive. Sometimes they're kind of stupid and they don't really care. So just even those extra two months make a big difference. And that's typically what I do. Um, so I never checked her for pregnancy because she wasn't the one I was trying to get pregnant. So, um, that doe is doing pretty good with her kits. Um, actually, I'll show you. Um, let's see. I got behind on this video, so I think it's been um, close to a week now. I'll just uncover them. So she's got two really fat, really fat little babies. Hey, guys. So she's been pulling out a lot more hair every day, keeping them warm. She finally stopped laying in that, um, in the front. So, um, I did take that other nest box away because she wasn't, um, she was crapping in it. So I took it away and she didn't start laying in the front of this again, so... That's good.